Now the year 2022 may finally be the year when Iran revis revised its outdated air force fleet with advanced fighter jets. If reports are to be believed, the Islamic Republic is likely to buy the Russian Su-35E super flanker anytime soon. Now this month itself, Iran and Russia will reportedly sign a 20-year defense agreement with $10 billion. Under the agreement, Moscow will supply Tehran with 24 Su-35SEs, two advanced S-400 air defense missile systems and a military satellite. The Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force is made up of outdated fighters, especially when compared to its regional rivals. Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates both operate highly advanced variants of the F-15 and F-16, with the IRIF, Tomcats, F-4 Phantom, IIS, F-5 Tiger IIS, all of these were acquired before 1979 when Tehran was an ally of the United States. The super flankers, fighter jets were originally intended for Egypt, but America threatened sanctions against Egypt under countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act. So now 15 ready-to-fly Sukhoi at 35 SEs will be delivered to Iran by mid-2022. That is if the defense deal is completed in January. Acquisition of the advanced SU-35 will provide Iran with a huge boost. It will serve as a strong deterrence against any possible Israeli airstrike in the future. If the deal goes through, it will be a headache for the United States and its allies. There is also possibility of Russia along also selling the S-400 air defense system to Iran. The existing uh, existence of more S-400s in the vicinity poses a substantial threat to Israeli aircraft and U.S. assets. Moreover, Israel's Aerial superiority in Syria will be weakened by the deployment of the system. In a bid to capitalize on the ongoing differences between the Biden administration and the Gulf countries, Russia has been pushing its weapons to its region in recent years. Algeria and Turkey have also apparently expressed interest in the Su-35 combat jets. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.